everybody, Catfish Jones here, leaving work, very excited because leaving work for the last time for a couple weeks, certainly the last time for 2017, 2017, officially in the books work-wise, very satisfied with the work that I did this year, I feel like I did great work some of the best I've ever done, but 2018 is going to be glorious. 2018 is just going to be fantastic. And that's not like a, a false hope or a psyching myself up. I really feel that good winds are blowing this way. So yesterday, we had a fun talk about vlogcation plans. Fun little car talk with Catfish Jones here, planning my upcoming vlogcation. Proposed maybe driving out to Florida. Tell you what, that still might be an option, but looks less and less likely the more I weigh all sides of that option. Wow. I got this fancy schmancy classic looking pickup truck in front of me just hammered down full bore barely going 20 that is an oddity that is an oddity I'd show you but it's got a license plate I don't really want to dox this guy out very important when you're showing video of other people that, that they approve of it that, that you have their permission But it makes this leg of the journey very interesting, because here I am just snail trail behind this guy who's just... Once again, sound effects make everything better. There he is. That's what it sounds like. And I, I'm sure he just hates it. It's probably something, whoa. Now see, that's what I was worried about. Whoop. And just for a second, I did have my hand off the wheel, but I was afraid of smashing a brake or a, a go button, having the camera fall forward or slide out from under. Um, but you know what? If that's the worst that happens, a little bit of fall forward, a little bit of, of fixing it certainly could be worse. So vlogcation may not drive to Florida. That's going to be pretty intense. I mean, we're talking... 17 to 20 hours to New Orleans. I've done it in 15, but that was very serious and not easy. Basically 17 hours to get there at about as quick as you can. And then still a handful of hours on into Florida. And like I say, I have a, a great friend who is, is willing to host me if I can get there. And it really isn't 100% a financial choice to go or not to go. I think I have the emergency funds in place that if I did, it wouldn't hurt my family situation any. But it might affect emergency funds that we have on hand. And if I go on vacation and have an emergency on the way or have an emergency back at the house, we could be in a little bit of trouble. So. Maybe, maybe that's the pragmatism that I need to weigh on. The other side of it is, if I plan a little bit better than just, you know, on a whim, spur of the moment, I might be able to do this same trip next year in a way that allows me to book some shows along the way and play as Catfish Jones. Um, maybe have a, an inventory of merchandise that I could sell at those shows to help fund the journey and have a little bit more of a plan for how I want to handle the days, handle the the vlogation of the vlogcation, <laughs> if you will. Because I got some ideas. I have two or three ideas and it's going to take a lot more than that, like day-wise. So 
I'd hate to miss cool parts along the way. Really, what I think I want to do is start now planning for next year, and next year, at the first of the year, take the same journey I just planned on. So we'll see. As I told my wife this morning, it's the option is still on the table until I don't go. Maybe I've said that to a couple others as well. But really, it's on the table until I don't go. Right here is where that crazy driver got in my way last night and had me cussing up a storm. So I gotta watch myself, make sure my language don't get me in no trouble. And I do apologize for anybody who had to experience my coarse language yesterday at that spot. Um, as it were, is, was, and may shall be, Still got some good plans. If I don't go, which now is looking a little more likely, I think the time spent will be spent on, as my friend Keith, who does Eagle VP, suggested, making the digital versions of music that I have able to be reproduced in a physical medium. Which is to make some CDs. I'll say I make some CDs. Um... But some of these, man, it'd be really cool to press some vinyl on some of this. Uh, it'd be really cool to not just do the Catfish Jones stuff, but maybe also put out the Gunther Skunk CDs. There's two Gunther Skunk CDs out there on the interwebs. Which I'm sure I've talked to you guys about Gunther Skunk in my vlogs, where it was just kind of an alternate persona to allow me to get better at using my recording software without having to waste takes on, you know, songs that I did for real. So it's kind of like fake, but man, a lot of those songs turned out great. The first one was a alpha test where I didn't even know what I was doing and I thought it turned out pretty good. The second one was a little more of a beta test where, and this was 2015, I believe 2015, and I made it from October to December, so I spent three months on it, and the goal was to start from zero and write and record a 15-song record as Gunther Skunk. And that's, if you have never written a song, you might say that's impossible. If you have written a song, you might say, wow, that sounds kind of tough. It was kind of tough handful of those songs just popped right out, but the other nearly dozen did not. A lot harder to get them out. All right, fools, you're gonna get somebody run up on. Get on home. Shmimini. But notice that time I did not use profanity. <sighs> Can't even believe myself. But I think we've all been in that situation. And you say, well, Brad, it wasn't a live vlog. Why didn't you just edit it out? Well, to me, Car Talk with Catfish, I try to liken it to a live vlog where I don't want to edit these. I just want to get home, get the thumbnail made while this is uploading, hopefully have the finish button pressed by 6 p.m. Central Time. Last night, I think I didn't let it go until about 6.45 because Fuzz stopped by and we got to jamming. And I don't think we wrote anything last night, but we kind of played a bunch. And we cussed a little bit about, like I said, the, the Gunther Skunk records, the Catfish Jones records. Fuzz has a handful of songs he'd like to put out solo. Delta Stank, our bass player, has a handful of songs he'd like to put out solo. Um, and I think all of these might be able to be put out under one name, one, quote, record label, if you will, or if you won't. It's, uh, gosh, you know, much like my theory on an album, it's not really an album unless it's published officially, BMI, ASCAP, CSAC, whoever officially publishes and declares royalties and puts it up on the Spotify and other places. It's not really an album until it's published as an album. And one of our records, Row 6, I think it's 
the record's called Weather from way back in the 90s. Um, we got a barcode, we published it as professionally as we could, as 18-something-year-olds. Um, but even that isn't really a real record. It doesn't have a record label backing. It doesn't uh, have uh, BMI ASCAP publishing. We don't get royalties from it. Nobody can use it in a movie and pay the mechanicals. So what I want to do with these songs, these albums, this stuff, is to do it as real as I can without having to go too far into an outside source, you know, uh, whatever it takes to release them independently, I guess, is what I'd like to do. That's how we want to do it. And like I say, talking to Fuzz last night, we kind of made a little bit of a roadmap of how we can do that by this time next year. Which makes me all the more interested in doing it. I'm going to stop it right here. We're at 11 minutes. 11 minutes, and uh, I keep messing with the phone, so I hope you guys are enjoying these car talks. It's something that I'm enjoying quite a bit, and I'll probably keep doing them. Maybe the first week was too often. This one I had a couple. Do a couple next week. Next week will be fun, because I'm not probably going to be driving all the way to Florida, but that doesn't preclude day trips. Um, I want to go to Abilene. There's the President Eisenhower Museum in Abilene, as well as some old Abilene Town stuff and uh, a very interesting swath of interestingness. And it's only about a half hour away from me. Kansas City's a great place, about three hours away, and I have a brother who lives there. Lots to vlog in Kansas City. Um, Wichita, just south of me, 45 minutes to an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how you drive and which way you go. Lots of cool stuff in, in Wichita, so... All of those places are, are what I would consider day trips. Um, I could still book it down to Oklahoma is uh, reachable, maybe a four-hour trip, maybe a six-hour trip at most. Um, there's some day trips that may still happen here in the next two weeks. Don't quote me on it. But most importantly is I want to spend the time on this vlogcation. Vlogging. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a daily vlog. I can do that. Uh, maybe, I mean, obviously want to work on music. I want to do a bunch of art. I have a couple of larger paintings that are done in my head. I just have to do the work. And, uh, options. Just a plethora of options. Copious options. <sighs> but maybe I'll just sit around and play video games for two weeks, recuperate the brain, not remember what happened to the time and go back to work like nothing ever happened. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, once again, if you have ideas, put them in the comments below. have no idea what I will title this vlog, but it's got to have a title, so I'll put one on. In the meantime, until I see you guys again, which will at least be probably Sunday, if not Wednesday, if not next Sunday, if not Wednesday, down the road, we shall come in contact. And until then, I hope everybody is well. And I hope life is treating you awesome. So until then, Catfish Jones from Car Talk with Catfish. We'll see you later. Cheers.